Absolutely. I think that the way that I incorporate kind of both my certifications is uh, just, just kind of thinking about language using a behavioral lens. So just kind of having my detective hat on and seeing how is my student currently communicating? How can I help them systematically with my intervention? Know that I want to help them increase their communication skills and every student is going to be on a different communication journey. And so I think just a, you know, helping them in a very systematic way. So working on things in a certain way, working on certain skills in a certain way, a lot of data involved, <laughs> data that I've always, I'm always refining. I think every year on my blog, I like say, okay, this is what I'm doing for data. Um, I just did a training on my YouTube about, you know, using Google forms to take data. There's always different ways. I'm always trying to analyze my workflows and how to streamline them because that's a huge part of being a speech therapist is just being efficient and making sure that the data that we take, that we're analyzing it to make treatment decisions. I think those are some of the most important things um, that we can do. And yes, at ABAspeech.org, we have a lot of different courses. Um, and the one course that is our biggest course is called Help Me Find My Voice. It's a five hour course. And it's all about how to help students who are either nonverbal or are emerging communicators. So what do we start on in therapy? Because I think there's just a lot of confusion and, and overwhelm about, okay, this student needs, you know, maybe they didn't get a standardized score on the assessment or they won't even sit for any type of assessment. So I don't even know where to begin with this student. So we talk about, you know, how do we begin? How do we help a student find a way to communicate with the world? Or how do we help a student who maybe is hesitant to engage in therapy? How do we help them engage in therapy and think that therapy is fun and functional? Um, and we're all back to having a great time in therapy because that's sometimes not the case um, for students that you're seeing. And so yes, we offer a lot of resources that speak just to that. Mm -hmm.